All right, this is Adam from the Mystic Reef to talk about uh, nitrate phosphate reduction using uh, bio pellets or phosphate nitrate reducing bio pellets. And basically, all these are is a solid form of carbon similar to vodka or vinegar dosing, where basically the vinegar or the vodka is the pure source of carbon or ethanol. And that basically is fuel for bacteria in the system that also consume nitrate and phosphate. So as they grow, they're eating the nitrates and phosphates out of the water, and they're being shed off of these bio pellets to be removed by your skimmer. So uh, you basically run them in a reactor like this, like a phosphan or uh, any other type of media reactor. You want to get them tumbling so the bacteria can colonize, and as they're tumbling, they're being shed off where the skimmer can actually remove the bacteria, therefore exporting all the nitrate and phosphate out of the water. Bio pellets are a really good alternative to stuff like FOSA, Phosphan or uh, Fosar, which is phosphate absorption resin, where you need to replace about once a month. The pho phosphate resin will get you lower phosphate levels, but it costs more money and uh, you have to replace it more frequently, whereas the bio pellets should last about six months before they need to be replenished. Uh, you won't get as low as phosphate levels with the bio pellets, but it's still pretty good, and if you want to get it even cleaner, you can run uh, carbon or Fosar afterwards. That about explains it. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty good product. And the microbacter, of course, is the bacteria itself that actually will colonize. You know, there is bacteria in your tank, but it's nice to have an outside source which will help um, with the variety of different bacterial strains.